Call Halalium, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Shalom, warm and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. All right. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming with another lesson, um, a short, brief exhortation, you know, basically just a mindset, you know, going in on the mindset of uh, this thing of ours, as the Apostle Elder Gabbar says from time to time, you know, the uh, the La Costa Nostra, which is this truth, all right, which is the, 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 the lifestyle of a soldier, all right, the men of the Lord, the men Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has set up. To usher in the kingdom of heaven, starting with the elders and the apostles on down to the men, you know, that's just coming in. The men that's going to come in before the Lord um, clearly eradicates this place. And um, we see that all over with the year, like, like hey, the year 2019, the year of the Karagma. All right, the year of that chip. Okay, the RFID chip, which is one of the last major prophecies to happen before the nuclear destruction, which is spoken about in the Holy Bible. Um, for the people of the first time watching, but um, it's a, it takes a special type of mentality, all right, to um, basically be in this truth and to be of this truth and um, accept this truth. And that's how you know, you know, when we see scoffers or false prophets or, or niggas that's fucking around or what we call keyboard warriors or comet board warriors, we actually know they don't understand this truth. It's simply off the experiences, man. We we know guys who are lukewarm simply off, you know, just experience and and um the things that they. It, it, you know, the scripture says, "Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks." All right, you know a tree by its fruit. Like these people are all nuts. These people are all nuts. All right, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into it. You know, I don't want to stray too far from the point. This is uh, St. Matthew 10 and verse 39. It says, he who findeth his life, he who findeth his life shall you lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. All right. It says, for whoever, Salaki, Khan. And this is uh, St. Matthew it says, and again in the 16th chapter, St. Matthew 16 and 25, the Lord reiterated, he said, for whosoever shall save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right, and we found life, all right, when we picked up this plow, when the Lord gave us the unction, all right, when the Lord put the Spirit on us to come out here and do this work, to understand what the law, statutes, and commandments are, to understand that the so-called white man, woman, and child is the devil, all right, to be snatched from the um the, the elements of this world, all right, the darkness, the Lord, you know, we found life through that. And we grow and find more life, increasing more and more, all right, as we grow in this truth and cast off this darkness, all right? And we forsook the world, all right? We forsook the world and being on this war path, this spiritual war path, we're going to lose things, all right? And I always go into this from time to time. We're going to lose uh, job opportunities, life opportunities, all right, we're going to lose loved ones on the way. All right, people we love are, are going to leave us. All right, people we like are going to leave us. They're going to be people we never even get to know because of this path on this side, because of this path that we have um, been entrusted with, so to speak. And that shouldn't move you, brothers. It should be motivation to push forward to the kingdom because in this in the kingdom that is to come, we will have everything. We will own everything. We will rule everything. And everything that we have that's been entrusted to us will be ours. Whether it be women, whether it be lands, whether it be golds, or, or, uh, fashion, whatever it is. All right. This kingdom comes with an abundance of things. That's why the scripture says he is what? He is a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. But for us, this side, hey, 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 we fucked on this side. All right. The Lord, <laughs> hey, we as the prophets, all right, or as the world views it, all right, we fucked. Really, we're blessed. But, you know, it's not going to be a lot to get or to gain on this side. So, basically, you should basically just be on a war path, man, a, a, a fervent path. You know, losing your life, basically, that's why I brought out those two scriptures, losing your life 
for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, and, and for truth's sake. All right, the truth is not a, 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 a easy walk. It's not a breezy walk. All right, it's a, it's a dangerous walk. All right, and it's a and it's a road that you have to walk down cautiously. This is Acts fifteen and twenty six. It says, um. Now the fact this is Acts fifteen and twenty five. It said, it seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Now he said chosen men. The Lord just don't pick. Any Joe Smo to go do his work. All right. Even when Esau, the so-called white man, hires you, he gives you an interview. All right. He he looks at your credentials and he searches you. I mean, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he knows us anyway. That's why um he says in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, I Yahweh, I try the heart, I search the reins. He 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 already knows who we are, whether it be a wicked nigga, a good a good dude, you know, to, to choose for this truth or whoever. Whatever he want to use you for, that's what he use you for. But he said. He sent chosen men. Okay, verse 26, Acts 15 to 26, he said, Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So that's that's not a cakewalk. All right, the Lord picks men that are ready to go through the shit, so to speak, for him. All right. And those are the men we have to be. You know, though this is this is this this. This truth is the main focus. And this is a heavy deal. All right. We're, we're doing something that's <laughs> basically um <laughs> never been done before, so to speak. Not saying that the prophets never, you know, went out there or nothing like that. Because the prophets have been out here through the generations, you know. And Lord willing, we are those men in the reincarnation. But we're the ones that's gonna be here at the end this place has no longer this place is so wicked man like the brother from um dallas the brother yadi had mentioned man this this place is so wicked the lord himself has to come back and, and destroy it man and we're gonna be the man all right to usher that in the 140 the 144,000. all right and and and, <laughs> and doing that path is is gonna be this is the greatest the reward to ever be won, the kingdom of heaven. So you have to make the greatest sacrifice to ever be sacrificed. All right. This is um Timothy 2. I'm going to read Timothy 2 and 2. Tim, 2 Timothy, Salaki, 2 Timothy, the second chapter in the third verse. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. No man that wars entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And we always use that reference, and I, I love using that reference because that's one of my good favorite movies. But the first brother, or well, apostle, so to speak, I heard bring it out was uh, Apostle Elder Ricard. We always use that reference in uh, that movie, Dead Presidents, you know, where... Um, Chris Tucker was uh, talking to Lorenz Tate, and he said, you got a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, you know, and he put the shit up, the pictures he and shit, he was like, man, fuck this shit, you know, the moment I think about this shit, I'm dead, you know, I'm trying to make it back home, we're trying to make it home, we're trying to make it to the kingdom of heaven, man, whatever we thinking about, um, you know, losing our job, or being beat, you know, the, the black woman, or whatever in the hell type of woman you deal with, leaving, leaving you, Whenever, and I didn't hear that happen in this truth. And so the fuck what? You know, these bitches, they, they don't, some of them, you know, they don't want you to go out Saturday because that's the date day, but that's the day you go. Hey, look, the hell with you then. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, give it. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, take it away. And that, 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 that's just one of many, you know. These women are nuts anyway, man. They ain't the first, you ain't the first dude they've been with you, damn show. It's a great chance you might not be the last the way this society is, man. You'll see him in the kingdom. I'm just using that because, you know, that's the most common, man. Jake break with them damn when it comes to them women, man. And I I know how it is, you know. But the thing about it is this. I'm going to read the verse, uh, verse 4 over again. It said, no man at what entangling himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who chosen, now go that word again, him to be, who have chosen him to be a soldier. 
All right, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah put us in this army. All right, he put us in this army. And he said, if you love him, do what? Feed his sheep. So no matter what, we got to get back home. We got to get to the kingdom of heaven. And we got to feed the sheep, the flock of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, you know. And that's what our elders and our apostles, starting with the elder apostle Taha, has been doing for many years and has been continued to do because this message is real. This truth is real. The whole world knows the truth now, man. And yeah, how about Shimmy How Shah is on his way back, whether you believe that or not. But like the elder Yashawamba said, you know, this kingdom coming, you know, it started with it starts in the mind of the elect. And this this everything that's happening is real. You know, a lot of them Jakes didn't believe Noah when he said a lot of them <laughs> they didn't believe Noah when he said the flood was coming. They didn't believe Moses when he told them they was gonna go into slavery. Well, guess what, nigga? It happened. The Most High is about to destroy this place. It's going to happen, man. And we're going to be the cream of the crop, the, the, the top tier Israelites, so to speak, in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're going to make it out of this destruction. Someone has to make it out of this destruction, man. And someone has to lead men and someone has to, you know, usher in this kingdom of heaven, man. Like I always say, man, and we've been entrusted with the skills to do that. So, hey, man, with all your getting, get understanding. And whatever, uh, like the scriptures say, I'm paraphrasing, whatever thou findest thy hand to do, you know, do it with all thy might. The scripture says, whatever thou findest thy hand to do, do it with all thy might. It ain't no half-stepping in this truth, man. So, you know, gird up, mount up, and do what the hell we got to do, man, so we can get the fuck up out of here. But, um, you know, I just wanted to park and break a little bread with, with the flock a little bit, man, through the World Wide Web, through this unicorn. All right, and um, basically say some things that was on my mind, on my heart. But with that being said, I hope this was edifying. Call Halabim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rukha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great meal stone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Keep pushing.